Dry weather can be a detriment to some crops, but vineyards this year are thriving due to a lack of rainfall this summer. Meteorologist Christine Gregory heard it through the grapevine and visited a local vineyard to check it out. The vineyard at Casa Larga is experiencing an early and abundant harvest this year, something that is a bit more unusual, but has likely coincided with both the lack of frost from this past spring and the abnormally dry conditions currently being seen this summer. Paige Vincent, winemaker at Casa Larga Vineyards, says that when it comes to timing out the harvest here in the Finger Lakes, that all bets are off. A lot of times the dry years will lead to a little bit of an earlier harvest. 2020 was warm and dry. Uh, before that, 2016 was also pretty warm and dry. Uh, we expect to have some of our early crops coming in earlier uh, by a week or two. The hot, dry weather actually really, really helps for sugar concentration uh, and sort of grape phenology. Have you ever heard the saying that grape vines don't like wet feet? Well, as that saying goes, Paige says that the vines actually tend to thrive under a little bit of stress. Well, younger grape vines might struggle a bit more with the lack of uh, water and some of the heat that we've had. These old vines, they, uh, they have deep roots. They can get water where they need it. Another thing grape vines don't like, pests such as the spotted lanternfly. And while the vineyard hasn't spotted any of them yet, it's something Paige says may not be a matter of if, but a matter of when. Uh, right now, our best measures are scouting in our, in our vineyards to see if we see anything. Um, fortunately, we've not seen any in our vineyards, so uh, we're just going to keep our fingers crossed and uh, hope that we hold out as long as possible. When it comes to maintaining the grapes, it's all about having feet on the ground and keeping a good eye out for the unexpected. Expected. Reporting in Fairport, Christine Gregory, News 8. All right, thank you, Christine. And a reminder, if you see a spotted lantern fly, you're advised to squish it on site, take a photo of it, and report it to the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation or the Department of Agriculture.